Sure you put in this. Well, I don't think might be sure on that line, I don't know. Yeah, there is. What is it you're doing with that throttle? Looks like nothing. Right, leave it as doing nothing. That doesn't seem good. I should probably the Conrad. Off. Well, that didn't go as planned. Um, welcome back to the channel if this is the start of another video. Um, as you might have seen from that bit of footage, um, Ewan's limbo dancer, um, we, he was going to try run up the engine. The engine wasn't sucking fuel, wasn't really sucking fuel up. Um, we tried opening up the needle a lot and we tried opening up the bottom end needle because I don't, know, I don't know if you would have seen or not um, but I actually tried to blow through the carb and there was no flow at all so I opened up the bottom end needle until there was flow the when there was flow we put everything back together sucked some fuel through put the starter on it it sucked some fuel up it popped and fired and then something broke we think it's possibly the Comrod, but we don't know until we start taking it apart. So after this little segment, he was going to start taking it apart, find out relatively quickly what's I don't know what to say to it, but something's wrong in this engine. The biggest problem I've got is that this engine is obsolete. Um, parts are as easy to get as rock and horse poo. Um, we might be able to source a spare, a used, engine spare or whatever but until we know exactly what's needed it's not even worth going searching so we're sticking on time lapse and you're going to get this engine out and we'll have a look and see what's wrong
Well guys, you has got the engine off. Um, it's not what we thought, it's not the Conrod. It's the crankshaft, Kingpin has broken. Um, I'll stick a picture in here so you can see what we're on about. So, what might be an easier spare to find is still proving elusive on a quick search. Um, I've put a shout out on various different Facebook groups and whatnot. Has anybody got one? Um, when I go inside, I've got a spare five minutes, I'll start trawling the different model shops to see if they've got one in stock anywhere. In the meantime, Ewan is going through this rather small collection of engines, trying to find another 46 that I know I've got. It's not an ASP, it's a uh, Magnum WLX. Um, while I think about it, Ewan, it might be in a box right at the back. You know, that box, the, the box of boxes right at the back, it might be in one of them. Could it be this one? Could be, I don't know. So he's searching for that, and once we find it, he'll get that mounted up. I don't know what the needle's going to be like either, so... Hopefully, what it was. Open it up a bit. Right, suck some fuel up by hand. Better start. Mm -hmm. You're not square on it. What? You're not square on the starter. So you saw there, this engine um, ran up fine. Um, yes, it's very rich at the bottom end. 
very rich at both ends. It's, it's, no, the top end's not too bad. Yeah. It's, it's not going to get as much RPM as what you're expecting because it's a much bigger prop. Yeah. But it's running fine for just now. For what? Bear in mind, this engine hasn't run for over two years, probably. And that's straight out of storage. Um, certainly better results than the previous engine that was in there. So, yeah, this engine has been running previously in another model, flown a lot. Um, it is rich at the bottom end, but that can be sorted later on when we actually go and fly it. We can do that at the flying field. Um, there's a few minor little bits that we've got to do, or well, Ewan's got to do, but that is the limbo dancer ready to fly. Mm -hmm. CG's all been checked, it's all fine. Um, everything's ready to go. Yeah. I think we have to give it a good eyeball over before we fly it but mm. apart from that it's ready to go isn't it yep yeah yeah so yeah so that's another model ready to go um, probably get some flying footage of it at some point when it flies but uh, until the next time from myself and you and here in the workshop we'll catch you later bye